The Romanian Ministry of Defense, MAPN, has submitted a request to Parliament for the acquisition of 44 AAV-7 amphibious vehicles from the U.S. Marine Corps inventory, doubling its initial plan. The move is part of Romania's ongoing efforts to modernize its armed forces, focusing on enhancing mobility, firepower, and battlefield survival through advanced military equipment. Romania's request for 44 AAV-7 vehicles reflects the nation's commitment to bolstering its defense capabilities in line with its long-term military transformation program, set to be completed by 2040. The estimated value of the deal is $210 million, excluding VAT, with the purchase facilitated through the U.S. Foreign Military Sales, FMS, program. These amphibious assault vehicles are designed to transport Marines and their equipment from ships to shore and across challenging terrain, offering a combination of versatility, mobility, and firepower. The AAV-7 can carry up to 25 Marines along with its three-person crew, making it a crucial asset for troop transport and landing operations. The AAV-7 is a tracked armored amphibious vehicle equipped to operate both on land and in water. It has a top speed of 72 km per hour on roads, 32 km per hour off-road, and 13 km per hour in water. Powered by a Detroit diesel or Cummins engine, the vehicle boasts a range of 300 miles on land and 20 nautical miles in the water, making it suitable for a wide range of military environments. In terms of armament, the AAV-7 is outfitted with powerful weapon systems, including a MK 1940mm grenade launcher or an M242 Bushmaster 25mm gun, as well as an M2 HB.50 caliber machine gun. This allows the vehicle to provide direct fire support during assault operations. Its amphibious capabilities further enhance its versatility, allowing it to launch operations directly from the decks of Navy assault ships and reach any coastline for rapid deployment. The AAV-7's design is the product of decades of development, starting with earlier amphibious vehicles like the Alligator and Crocodile, used during World War II. The modern AAVP-7A1 variant offers improved armor protection and enhanced performance in rough waters. These features have made the AAV-7 an essential tool for Marine Corps expeditionary missions and troop transport operations worldwide. Initially, the U.S. State Department approved the sale of 21 AAV-7 vehicles to Romania, including 16 AAVP-7A1 troop transport vehicles, 3 AAVC-7A1 command vehicles, and 2 AAVR-7A1 recovery vehicles. However, Romania has since decided to more than double this number, seeking to acquire a total of 44 vehicles to better meet its defense needs. The acquisition of these amphibious vehicles is a significant step for Romania, a nation whose geographic location necessitates robust amphibious capabilities. Despite its strategic position on the Black Sea, Romania currently lacks sufficient amphibious vehicles to fulfill its defense requirements. The addition of these 44 AAV-7 vehicles will greatly enhance the country's ability to conduct troop transport and landing operations, strengthening its broader defense strategy. As Romania continues to modernize its military infrastructure, the integration of the AAV-7 into its arsenal will provide vital capabilities that align with the country's geographic and strategic needs. The amphibious vehicles will not only bolster Romania's national defense but also increase its operational flexibility and readiness in regional and NATO missions. Romania's decision to acquire 44 AAV-7 amphibious vehicles from the U.S. Marine Corps marks a pivotal moment in the country's military modernization efforts. By investing in advanced, versatile vehicles like the AAV-7, Romania is positioning itself to enhance its defense capabilities, improve battlefield mobility, and better meet the demands of its geographic obligations in the Black Sea region. This acquisition, part of a broader effort to transform the Romanian military by 2040, underscores the nation's commitment to strengthening its national defense and maintaining regional stability.